Okay, it's uh, 7.01. Uh, uh, call this meeting of the Ellsworth Planning Commission to order. Judy, call the roll, please. Yes, Reed. Here. Sims. Here. Elzell. Here. Uh, not present are Adam Abraham and uh, Susan Stiles. Present is uh, Planning and Zoning Administrator Denise Swear. Thank you. Um, Oh, vote for chair or vice chair. I think since Susan's here, we may want to move on All right. <laughs> just, just missed the uh, roll call, so I'll say it again here. I'm not here. So we have a uh, nominations for uh, chair or vice chair. Is there any discussion on that? And if there's not, uh, we have a motion to vote. I guess we can do that at the same time, can't we? You can just call for a vote on one or the other. I move that we have a vote on the chair of the planning commission. Second. Okay. I guess right now it's me nominated, so uh, I guess all in favor of me. I <laughs> opposed. I'll abstain. And, uh, and then I guess for Wait, the... Wait, did you, did you really have stand on that? Yeah. Okay. Vice Chair. Do we have a motion to consider Susan for the Vice Chair? So moved. Second. Okay. Is the voice vote fine, Judy? Yes. All in favor of that? Aye. 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 Susan, it is. Okay, thanks. Uh, Next time is a review of the agenda. Is there anything here we want to move around, talk about, <coughs> not talk about? If not, we can <coughs> see the minutes, the minutes of the meeting from January 11th. Uh, which I guess was our last one, was Yes. Any comments on page one? Page two. Uh, page three. Or page four. If no comments, uh, motion to approve the minutes as they are. So a second. Sorry. All in favor? citizens here comment unless Judy or Denise you want to okay uh, the next item is our um, look at this 
zoning text amendments for the uh, swimming pools and spas. And I did have, um, <clears throat> I missed you on that review of agenda. There was another revision, um, so we could put it as D, revision of 128408 definitions to include the definition of a pool slash spa. And I, I believe I noticed that. I think I did. Okay. It's getting a little confusing with some of that stuff that had been, you know, uh, <coughs> held and not passed and that kind of thing. Was this noticed as a public hearing? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, do we want to just Yeah, I see the definition of Yeah. So, I guess we could just go. I hope that I incorporated everything everybody had. Um, suggested um, it actually was it may not look like it but it's actually spread out over several different places in the overall zoning code so in 126004 under section a number 10 I added it in as what is not required and we had decided that portable or temporary pools less than 24 inches in depth would not require a permit. So then in the going on forward on that to in the same section, but number 13, or actually number 14, we added 14 and that's where I added the regulations that we had decided. Um, which included that it was, you know, it's basically under accessory structures, so um, that it can be constructed in a year, rear yard, um, excluding these two uh, zoning districts, conservation and I-2 industrial. Um, it's explaining the fencing that was being required, the gates being self-closing and self-latching. You didn't want it to be self-locking. Okay, and then um, and then uh, it was asked that that we make it inaccessible from the outside to small children, so that that latch had to be at least 42 inches above the outside of the gate. A um, there was uh, also about a natural barrier or a hedge could also be a part of that. And then it went on to uh, lighting. Um, then, then, a, then the part about the uh, stagnant pools and breeding of breeding ground for insects. And of course, then there's uh, number four, which I want to talk about number four a little bit here. Um, Judy, I, I've been back and forth today also talking, um, you know, Patty had raised the, the question that going back retroactively, this would be the only place in the zoning code where, we, where we're doing that. Um, and so she wasn't sure and I checked with um, Chris Connor and we were going back and forth today and I had left and he followed up with Judy. Mm -hmm. And discussed. Well, Judy, do you want to like it was sure. more about a non-conforming use? Yeah, he cited um, ORC section seven thirteen point one five non-conforming uses, which essentially says that the lawful use of any dwelling, building, or structure, and of any land or premises, as existing at lawful at the time of enacting a zoning ordinance or amendment to the ordinance, can be continued even though it doesn't conform with the provisions of that ordinance. And he said that, <clears throat> I mean, being a lawyer, he could find some way to make the retroactive um, enforcement of the fencing somehow fly, but that it would be a pretty uphill battle, given that there was no pattern of, of problem with not having pools fenced. If there had been you know, six toddler drownings or near drownings in the last few years, you could 
compellingly state there's a reason to retroactively enact this. He said in the absence of that, he'd have a hard time with it. His, his suggestion was not to make it retroactive, but he said, proceed as you see fit. He would work with you in whatever way he needed to. Okay. Want to talk about this one first? Well, let's just go through all the. Go through all of them? So only just like two more, right? Um, yeah. Well, then the next one, uh, 128408 definitions. Um, that will be in the zoning code under definitions R through S, and that what I wrote there is what everyone had agreed upon was the definition for swimming pools and spas. Then the next section, 14702, um, this would be the place uh, I had brought before 660, uh, the, the public nuisance section of the criminal code. And I talked with the chief of police and, and again with uh, Amy, the solicitor, and she felt that the best location for it would, would still be keeping it within the planning and zoning area of the code. And this section 1470 is in building and housing definitions. She said this wouldn't really provide a, uh, an ability to find somebody. But I have found so far in the letters that I have sent to people when I tell them they're not compliant about something that they fix it, you know. So um, I think that, I don't think that we should go ahead and add it to the criminal code yet and let, unless we start having a problem with it. Yeah. Because if I talk, and I talked to Chief, I, I said, you know, if you have a situation where it's a breeding ground for insects and it's bad, I mean, that doesn't stop us from having a police officer go out there and talk about this section right. of it being a public nuisance. It's just that you're not going to get fined. So, that was, and, she, and what she suggested was just adding swimming force ball to that because a, a, the cistern and what I have in the other one, cesspool, those didn't really fit. It kind of has to have its own definition. And then lastly, 125801 district uses, um, suggested by Amy to put a little footnote saying pools and spas are not allowed in District C and I2, even though all other accessory building structures and uses are permitted all the way across. Because of that, I decided that we should also put it under recreational. And under recreational, rec recreation and leisure, it's added and it is, as you can see, it's, it's blank in the conservation and the I2. And then additionally, I uh, did find some information on well, we can go into that later, I guess. Okay. So I found some information on uh, insurance companies. And it seems to, the general consensus is that insurance companies do require fences around pools to reduce liability for homeowners. So we would be covered in that regard. And then, um, Oh, the, and the final thing was I came up with a draft of a permit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we want to go back here to um, the uh, 126004 and talk about Chris's comments. Yeah. Or maybe have a little discussion about that. Um, so essentially, what he's saying is this will be the first time that we would retroactively apply some change to the zoning code. And I, and I think that we, in our zoning code, we do have, we do have a statement in there that if it is not conforming, at, if it's now not conforming as a result of this code, it gets to still be there. Right. It's grandfathered in. So we even say that in our code. So we're contradicting ourselves with this. But, but then he's going further to say that the ORC, the Ohio Revised Code, says the same thing. Yeah. Uh, which could make it a bit of a sticky wicket for us. Well, I'm comfortable with Chris's comments given that we do have some protection in the insurance companies and so forth. So just omitting that part about the... And, and eliminating four. Mm -hmm. Number four, right. Yeah. That's right. 
Yeah, that, that, that's the easiest route. I, I, I agree with it too. I, I mean, I, I don't want to be seen as you know, the government going in and taking things to the Rario lab, you know, and changing that. Nobody wants that. Um, there's only like a handful of pools in town, as it stands. I doubt there's going to be a ton more. I think this is good for anything that is in the future, but I mean, for the sake, for the sake of not going like our hands out to somebody else. I mean, it wouldn't prevent us from still doing a little bit of education right. 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 in terms of. Um, uh, you know, I can see about putting something into like utility billing newsletter that this has passed for any future pools, but you know, these are the general guidelines and we hope if you do have a pool that, you know, you can consider making sure that Right, I'm sure I'm sure that some of the pools that might not fit might be safe in other ways and people would at least have a desire to make their you know pool for their own reliability safe. So I don't see any harm in allowing sorry to go We all agree on that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, um, so we were talking about uh, are we including hot tubs in this for future hot tubs putting vents? I, I don't really understand that. Well, right now they're included, but I think we should discuss that because I agree that if you have a secure lid on the thing, it doesn't make sense to have to build a fence around a four foot by four foot hot tub. Yeah, so instead of omitting lid, is there any way to spend the ad specification that is this? So, so I looked at Mount Vernon. Mount Vernon says hot tubs shall be covered with a lid or cover sufficient to keep out small children and animals when the tub is not in use. I like that. Yeah. That's pretty simple. You kind of leave it to the discretion of the owner. I could probably go in the definition, I imagine, which would then... No, it would be going in the red, red regulations. It would be in the same place uh, that, like, fences or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, or spas. What was the word for spas? Or spas. Or so they say hot tubs. <coughs> Swimming pool and a, and a hot tub, 
right? But like in this definition, they're the same thing. And yet we're putting two separate regulations on them. Like there's different requirements for the enclosure. So my suggestion is that, um, you know, like, uh, I mean, it's kind of tricky. Maybe yeah, it is because then it's also affecting then the chart. The it just kind of is a domino effect. Maybe with yeah. number one itself, you you specify you know a natural barrier and da, 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 but then if you know for hot tubs or spas, if there's a you know cover that effectively prevents you know if you added that to one instead of making a separate one, and with that would that make things a little bit easier? We're, we're like putting in the same section where it talks about fences. Well, we're, doing that. we're doing that anyway, right? I don't, I don't know that it does impact anything else. As okay. long as you say... If we just put it in the main part of, of here, yeah. yeah, I think we're okay with everything else. And just have it as a separate paragraph of the definition. So someone can't say, well, that's, not, that's a spa. But I guess, I mean, like, you, when you buy a hot tub, tub or spa, like, you're buying, it says it's a hot tub or a spa. Right? So you know that it's, you're not falling under certain goals. It, it's fine if, if no one else wants to separate the definitions. I understand. I guess I was just seeing the, def, the, the definition being defined by that 24 inches. And it can include all that stuff if it's 24 inches. And it doesn't include any of it if it's under 24 inches. And that's why I was keeping it together. Well, except that. If you're saying that you can you can deal with one of them with a cover and the other one has to have a fence, mm -hmm. then where is that transition? Yeah, Where's like there could be a heated outdoor up? pool, right. right? That someone could say it's a hot tub, I have a cover, I don't need a fence. A fence. What is a spa right. a pool? Well that's what I'm saying is, a spa. is where, where yeah. we talk about fences is where we split it. Not in the def in that the definition. Okay, so how are we defining it? Yeah, there. I mean that was I saying you could you could do a number one for every person in the wheelchair is situated in a swimming pool. This is all that they have to do, mm -hmm. and then you can make number two yeah. for everyone who owns a spa or hot tub or other hydrotherapy device. I, I see what you're saying, Rose, as far as the like, people. I mean, because somebody could come with a hot pool. I don't think she's, no, no, she's uh, you know, they uh, could. Yeah. And, and, and I, she's she's asking, I think she has a, she's asking, how do you know when a spa becomes a pool? What's the difference? So do we need to say this is a less than 100 square feet? Oh, or is, uh, in fact, I think some of these artists have had a definition. Can you say a structure? That commercially defined as a hot tub or spa, or yeah, other hydrotherapy. I mean, right? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. It just this prevents somebody coming in with a heated pool and trying to make an argument. That's I mean, that's hydrotherapy. Right, everyone in the room is there, but like, no, yeah, I hear what you're saying. But but our definition says or doesn't say it twice. doesn't give uh, size. Well, is volume, volume is actually just depth. Mm -hmm. well, well, depth. And depth is what we're concerned about, correct? The 24 inches. No, we're talking, I mean, actually, when you're talking about whether or not a cover is sufficient, you're actually talking about the top of it, right? Like the the square footage of, the, of what the cover is going to be covering, the opening into it, right? Yeah. Um, no matter how deep it is, if you can cover it with a cover, then it does not need a, a fence around it. And, and right now, swimming pools and spas are the same thing. Well, so what if you get a pool cover? Yeah, most of them do They do exist. Yeah, yeah. There's one of these that has, one that does, that has a definition. I read it just but this morning. I think the thing about a pool cover that's different than a spa cover is that it takes a long time to like put a pool cover on. Right? 
They're not rigid. Yeah, they're not solid. They're not they, they, they do yeah. make the ones that like go over, you know, but yeah. most people just have, most people just have like a plastic. Yeah, you can't yeah. climb on it. That is There should still be a gate around over the way. Are our hot tubs only two foot high? Four? No, they're four. three, four, probably. Yeah, we have four of these. You gotta sit down. This is one. Yeah. yeah, let's see, there's one that talks about actually the square footage, the, the surface square footage. Oh, maybe I just, I was dreaming that. I, I guess, like, I don't know why the definitions, if it's really easier, this is a first reading to keep the definitions together. We need to come back to this still one more time. Yeah. If you're missing it some big changes, maybe, but otherwise, no. If we, if yeah, okay. If we fit, hammer this out and we um, amend it and agree with okay. it, we're done. Okay. It has to go twice before it counts. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, and I think the one thing that we're, we're really, the, the issue is, is just having the second definition for style versus We would like to see. Either in number two, either place, I think we should define so it if we're having different regulations. So this one uh, divides private swimming pool from small private swimming pool. So it, it, it limits it to 100 square feet. Of more than 100 square feet. Oh, less than 250. That's a huge. Okay, that's, um, all right. Yeah, but the, 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 the only thing that brings up the issue is because we have a, a different requirement for security, safety purposes, for the spa versus I mean, could we just have like a, an arbitrary like 10 by 10 and smaller than? Can, can you say something like <clears throat> a hot tub or spa capable of being covered by a rigid and locking cover shall not require a fence. Something so that yeah. you don't have to find necessarily that it has right. to be able to be. Yeah. I like doing that though, you know, okay. for, for the definition. Um, because for all the other business purposes, everything else is the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yes. So it would be. We're just adding one paragraph. Okay, so, say that again. <laughs> a hot tub or spa capable of being I guess you would say adequately secured by means of a rigid locking cover it shall not require a fence. So you? <laughs> um, I don't know that. What's that, that song? Rose, is that kind of? Maybe um, instead of like capable of something about um, like provided by the manufacturer, mm -hmm. like actually that it goes to you know like that it belongs <laughs> to the instead of like be supplied with just them. exactly. Like because the that's what we're talking about. You you're not required a latching fence if there's a manufacturer. Yeah, I mean the thing about I mean, manufacturing things is that there's third party ones and people don't necessarily want to do yeah. anything. But something so, as long as you specify somehow that it's something that, that something that they made the intent to cover a hot tub, not someone throwing a piece of on top of it. Or there's a way to specify that. So I'm is that if we uh, swimming, uh, so 14 1 you drop delete spa delete spa but then add it you put it as a number two then mm -hmm. probably sure. and then you'll say hot tub or spa being well, if you take out the adequately, if you take out the piece that's bothering, bothersome to Rose, and just say 
and I'm asking for a hot timber spot secured by means of rigid locking cover. Leave out that sort of fluffy language. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's it. All right, say that again, Judy. So we're just down to a hot tub or spa secured by means of a rigid locking cover. Shall not require a fence. <clears throat> Are we going to put hydrotherapy devices as well in there? I would be so surprised if someone put a hydrotherapy device outside of their home, but you no, could. No, I mean, there's no reason not to. I don't know what a hydrotherapy device is, so I suppose. <laughs> so what would you, well, that just means you think something. What about the, the ever pools? Those ever? That's on their size, if you can cover them. If um, they, yeah, if they have a. And those, those do come with cover. Those covers, too, because they would be continuously yeah. used. Yeah. I mean, that they're big, I mean. Well, and those are. I mean, I, I have one and I can tell you they'll, they'll just fall into the definition of pool. If it's outside, it's going to be considered a pool. It has to be at least 14 feet in length, so. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. And you, you, you also want to put in provided by the manufacturer? Not provided by the manufacturer, but what about like manufactured to, in, like, with intent, with intent to cover, you know, like. With intent to. I think I think the, 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 the latching and locking thing alone is I mean is is yeah, rigid locking and locking is probably the only yeah. where it came from. Even if it is a piece of plywood for locks. I mean if it's vague right. enough, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, like, so that's <laughs> that's gonna be number two. Three and that before and then you and so that means yeah, so your number two becomes number three, and number three becomes number four. And then number, and number five four is gone. Is gone. Because that's the retroactive deal. Salary. Okay. So that is, is that, that answers the one question I had about the whole deal, and that was why fits a swap. Sorry for the diversion. Uh, do we have any other comments or questions about any of these other proposed changes that Denise put before us? Thank you for putting in all this work. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. It's just, I just, you, what, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like I made very many changes, but then it's because they're in so many different right. places, right. you know? Right, right. Um, I mean, that, that covers us across you yeah. know, all the places and stuff. Like yeah. Okay, so if there's no more questions or comments or discussion, then this is a public hearing, so we need to open the floor. So if anyone from the public wants to comment on this matter, this is before the Planning Commission, uh, this is your opportunity. All right, with there being no comments, then we'll close the public hearing. And uh, do we want to entertain a motion? Do we want to... Uh, uh, move that we uh, finalize this language and send it to the council. We just move to finalize it with the, with the added language right there. <laughs> the with these changes that we made today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I move I move that we accept the changes that needs to made with the uh, added liter uh, language for number two and move removing the number four uh, of 126004 14. Okay. You have a second? Second. You want to call the roll? Well, I'm confused. Let me make sure I got that motion. Only because I'm looking at it. 12, yeah, it was 126004, number 14. Yeah, I'm sorry, I said it backwards. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, an addition of. Uh, we have. We're at, they're actually going to be. Council's going to be uh, voting on. Well, I think they already did you know, vote on driveways. Maybe not. That was the one that they didn't take out of that. So you were, and I'm just clarifying it, yeah. that you're approving the changes made to the current zoning code by, by Denise, that De, De, Denise brought and the changes made tonight to Correct. that language. Yes. By the right. language. Yes. To section 1268, both 4 and 14? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And 10 and 14. As well as the other changes. Sorry, it's, uh, 
Chiefs. No, I guess it doesn't have its own. It's just 14, 14, 14 10, yeah. and 14. Oh, yeah. 10 and 14. I've got it. Uh, do we need to have a separate motion and vote on the changes to the other sections? Well, did you, did you guys vote? No. No. Okay. We should vote well, on this first. And then you and then you want to follow that with a with a motion to send it on to council. Okay. That's the part I always forget. So. Okay, so we have a uh, Motion and a second. You want to call the roll? Yes. Sims? Yes. Abraham? Yes. Ozark? Yes. Lee? Yes. So now you say we need to put motion to send I this to council. I move to send this uh, new language for swimming pool regulations to council. Second. Call the roll. Ozark? Yes. Sims? Yes. Abraham? Yes. Lee? Yes. Okay. Now I have a question. Hopefully, it's not to do with the pool and spa. No, no, no. Just for when we talked about revisions for section 1260, 1258, and 1470. Yeah, we're about to do that. Yeah, we can only use one dog. Great. Right. Well, I'm just going to. So those are, the, those are the only changes we made, though, right? Yeah. So can so we vote on the others as a block? There's no reason that you can't as long as you hold the public hearing on all of them. So I need to go one minute at a time, public hearing. It's cleaner that way. Okay. All right, well, there's no more discussion um, on 1284.08 definitions. I uh, will come up here. And if there's no comments, we'll close the public hearing. And pressure on you now. <laughs> if there's no further discussion, yep. is there a motion to accept the language and send it to council? So moved. Second. All roll. Abraham. Yes. Pozo? Yes. Sims? Yes. Reed? Yes. I said and send it to council, so. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. That leaves us with 1470.02, adding the definition of, uh, to the definition of public uses, swim pool or spa. Um, open a public hearing. Does anyone have any comments on that change? 14.7002. If not, we'll close the public hearing. If there's no further discussion, we have a motion to accept this change and recommend the council consider. So, second. So, yeah. Thumbs up. Yes. Sims? Yes. Abraham? Yes. Three. Yes. All right, the last one then would be the table of uses by district. 12.5801. Can we um, do a public hearing if that wasn't on the agenda? Was it advertised? Yeah. The, 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 it was 1284. Yeah, I mean, I added it, I'm sure. It's, it's on the public agenda 1258. No, we're talking about 1268. No. Oh, no, we are? Oh, never mind. Then it's here. Sorry. Oh, oh it's the definitions that wasn't on the uh, well, on the agenda. It's on the, in the packet. Okay. You're, you're good? Or do you want me to check? You to check. Yeah, check. That's all four around there. Also, um, it looked like there was a meeting tomorrow. Is there a planning commission meeting tomorrow? Oh, heck no. Because it's in the paper. What? What? Mm -hmm. what? On Tuesday, in the calendar. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. No, I never told them that. <laughs> Okay, well, is it in there? Mm -hmm. But the, the, this isn't the public notice, it's the agenda. The oh, the agenda? Notice. I'm looking for the public notice. The public notice is a different animal. Yeah, the public notice and the public notice was in the previous week, and I got oh, yeah. paper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had it in the public notice. I would say just proceed. Yeah. So let's proceed, and if okay. it's in there, then they can 
move on it. If not, we'll do it next, do it next time. Okay, so anyone have any questions about, well, actually, we've already voted on that, so. The last one is 1258.01. That's the table. Uh, any comment or discussion on this? And if not, I'll open the public hearing. If there's no comments from the public, we'll close the public hearing. Uh, anyone want to make a motion to accept these changes and send it to council? So, Second. Abraham. Yes. Pozo? Yes. Sims? Yes. Reed? Yes. Okay. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. So, they have old business and we have no old business. Agenda planning. Uh, this is a, it's got a sore point with me. We signed ordinance. Uh, you want me to speak to this? Yes. Okay, so I've had a conversation with Patty, the village manager, and Denise, and Denise and Patty were talking, and, and the signed ordinance as adopted is flawed. There's a lot of stuff in the central business district specifically that just, it doesn't jive with what's in there. Um, uh, things that you would think would be entirely normal for a business to have in terms of signage is, is not permitted, just by either square footage or uh, how far it sticks out from the building, and and so I told Patty we would revisit it. Uh, um, uh, hopefully, you all agree with me. Yeah. This is this is not the result that John didn't. John have notes on that. This is John just reorganized it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. changed any of the numbers, yeah, right. so, so now we can actually read it. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> so, so you know, we went through this whole long process, and by the end, I mean the consultant was out of money. People were out of patience or just energy, and this and parking are kind of thrown in without the attention that a lot of the other sections receive. Right. And, and obviously it shows. So, Patty suggested that we look at it and see what can be done and, and uh, to, to kind of whip it into shape. And, and so that's why it's on the agenda for agenda planning. Um, what are your like, staff report? Are there any like, examples of the signs? Yeah, that we I have mean, to what, I'll try, what I'll try to do between now and then um, is like is go through each area, maybe try to take some photographs okay. of situations, and you know, and you know, we might even want to try to consider something that's really more unique to Yellow Springs than um, I was talking with <coughs> someone the other day that that will probably come to the meeting, but. You know, so we, we really kind of uh, limit a lot of things. You know, if somebody wanted to put a mural on the back of a building somewhere, you're limited on based on this. And you know, we like our artistic expression. And, you know, so we might want to try to find something that's more, uh, it's not so rigid and so complex. It, it really is very complex and difficult to understand for people to understand. Because of all the, you know, it varies depending on what district you're in. Right. And it, it's most obvious to me that in just right downtown. And if you read the, the code and then you, you, you just walk down the street, you can see just numerous places where it just doesn't make sense. Um, so, so anyway, that's why it's there. Um, I don't know what else we have facing us in the near future, but if we have the time, I mean, I guess there's no time yeah. the present to, to take care of this kind of stuff because I'm sure once summer hits, it's going to get busy again. Yeah. Things. Um, but what I'll try to do, I mean, I mean, just plan on maybe the next meeting being more of that working session, sort of like we did with the swimming pools, and then maybe we can get far enough through it that we can put something together. But reading after that. Yeah. And, and can you give me an updated version of? Times corrections capitalization. Well, it's not. It's, I mean, it's not really in the zoning code yet because I don't know how that works. Does it have to be codified with the? It's one of our old packets, I imagine. Those are those. Yeah, he just he re um, config. He just reconfigured 
that section without changing any of the criteria. Correct, correct. So, yeah, I'm sure I've got a packet yeah. that gives you the before and okay. after. I'll put all okay. them out. Is that all? Yeah, and we could get that yeah. earlier yeah. rather yeah. than yeah. later. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's just as right far person. as like, if you were like taking the zoning code and printing it off the web, it's not there. I mean, if that was in the packet, I think that's really enough. Like just the packet that comes up the Friday before, I think that's my end. Okay. Well, I'd like to. I'll give you three to me. See if we can just slide that. I'm stuck here. You have to get charged. Yeah, to me, it would help with the discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's kind of uh, all we have looking Now, did you, say, did you say that they just kind of threw signs and parking together? No, they're not together, but they were just, oh, and just kind of just giving cursory attention at the end. So we're, we're going to look at sign first. Yeah. Now, do you think there's a need later to look at parking? I don't know. I don't think it's nearly as urgent as this okay. thing. But I think even didn't Tamara write the sign section?